Hi, I'm Avni Krishna, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Gmail account on your computer. First, you're going to want to go to a search engine, such as Google, Safari, Bing, or Edge. All of these work, but today to demonstrate, I'll be using Google. Next, you'll go to the search bar up top and type in google.com slash gmail. Again, that's google.com slash gmail. And you're going to search that. And you should end up on this page. Now, to create an account, you can press either this button or this button. They both take you to the same place, so I'm going to press this one. And it's going to tell you first to type in your name. So I'll make this account for Sherlock Holmes. So first name, Sherlock, last name, Holmes. And then it'll tell you to type in a username. So I'll try Sherlock Holmes 2020. And it tells me that username is taken, so I have to try a different one. A lot of usernames you try will be taken, so you just have to try a bunch until you find one that's available. I recommend still trying to make the username easy to remember. So let me try Sherlock Holmes 2020-15. And see, that one is available. So now it'll tell me to type in a password. Make sure your password is secure and easy to remember. And then once you're done with all that, press next. Now it'll tell you to type in your phone number. So just type in your phone number if you have one. It is optional, as you can see, so you don't have to type it in. And then a recovery email address. This is for if you accidentally forget your password or get locked out of your account you can have a recovery so that you can get back into your account and as you can see it says that it makes your account more secure but again it is optional so if you don't want that that's totally fine next you're going to put your birthday this is just to make sure you're old enough to have the account and then gender either female, male, or other. And then you're gonna press next. Next, it should take you to the privacy and terms. These are a bunch of rules and guidelines that you can read over and you must agree to these to make your account. So you can read these in your own time. I'm just gonna press I agree so I can make the account. Now you officially have your own Gmail account, and with this you can use things like Google Hangouts and Google Meetings, along with being able to send all the emails you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.